in this video we take a look at how to create a fruit juice label like this in photoshop and this is coming up hey everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so here are the resources that i'll be using so you realize that i use the same method to create this different or these different styles so you can use all of them i've gotten the actual images as well for you and i've got the png i'll attach all of them in the description if you want to download and then we has practice and you can send what you come up with to me on instagram and let's get connected now let's head into photoshop and let's get started so here in photoshop we're going to create a very simple document so you go to file and then new i'm using photoshop cs6 but this should work for any other version of photoshop now you come to this portion and under the costume you're going to set your measuring scale to inches and you're going to set a 3 by 2 and a resolution of 300 size and then you can click ok now let's start off by creating some rulers or guidelines that is going to guide us in this particular design so we start off by going to view over here and we head over to new guide we are going to set some guidelines so the first one we set is one percent that is it is going to be at the very edge of the design and then we go ahead to view and we set again 99 percent and hit on ok now let's do some two more so new guide and we're going to set 30 percent and we do the last one that is going to be 70 percent so these guidelines are basically going to help us in our alignment and to make sure that the shapes and test are properly arranged and pictures are also centered very nicely so let's start off with the background creation the first thing that we want to do is head over to this layer or create new fill adjustment left click on it and pick the gradient over here now you head over to the gradient bar you left click on it and then you set your gradient i've already set my gradient you have to understand however that the background or the gradients that you're going to set would solely depend on what you're designing for for instance since i was designing for uh ginger i chose to go for the yellow and white background or something that's quite related to ginger and this one is tamarind so that is the reason why i picked those colors so this is the color that i chose these are the hex codes if you want to use the same thing so this is basically going to base on the fruits or i don't know how to even call it yes the fruits that you are using so this is the first hex code you click ok this is the second one if you want to use the same thing and then you can go ahead and click ok once you set your gradient now you head over to the style change the style to radial head over to reverse here and then you can reverse the whole gradient and then i'm going to set this one to 149 or 150 so that the color in the middle will open up a little bit so once i'm done with this i'm going ahead and i'll click ok from there we can go ahead and head over to our resource depending on the fruits that you are designing for so i'm going to drag and drop the tamarind inside of photoshop over here and i'm going to open it up something like that or close it up something like this double click on it i'm going to right click on it rasterize the layer and i'm going to set this to soft light so what happens is it is going to blend with the background and i'm going to reduce the opacity to about 50 percent or so so 50 percent and i'll click ok now the next thing that i do is i'm going to apply a layer mask to it choose my brush tool and make sure that the foreground color is black so i can use x to switch it up the colors here so x to switch it up the black will be on top let me set my opacity to 100 and then the hardness to zero percent and let me brush off this area now the next thing we do is we select the actual tamarind that we added and we're going to press ctrl shift and then u to turn or change it desaturated so if i set this one to normal you get to know that this has been desaturated so we're just going to set it back to soft light so that it blends seamlessly with the background now the next thing that we want to do is go back to the resource again we have this main leaf I'm just going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop and i'm going to place it over here so i'll send it to the right side over here place it right over there 
right click on it and i'm going to rasterize i'll press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate that as well and i'm going to set the blend mode to multiply now this time around i'm going to set this one also to about 50 percent so you drag the opacity something like that so somewhere around here 50 percent and we are good to go now the next thing that we have in the list is the main sleeve so the main sleeve the second one i'm going to drag and drop it over here and that one is going at a very extreme top so i'm going to do the same thing to the main sleeve right click on it and rasterize let's close it up a little bit so ctrl t to transform it out a little bit set the blending mode to soft light and we're going to reduce that also to about 50 percent it doesn't have to be that very visible so once we're done with this the next thing that we want to do is we we'll go for the ellipse tool or the circle tool if you want to call it that way we are going to create a perfect circle so you hit up and create a perfect circle like this and the color remains black let's push it to the very left side over here so i'm going to leave it over here and i'm going to set the opacity to 20 percent so something like that i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then i'm going to drag that to the very bottom i'll press ctrl t and i'm going to close it up a little bit so something like that now once we have this the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a new layer on top of the circle that we just created so you come to this particular portion at the very bottom of photoshop you have create a new layer and then you left click on it it is going to create an empty layer for you so what we do from here is we go for the lasso tool and then we're going to create a very rough sketch so something like rough sketch like this we want the edges to be rough in the other way you can create a rectangle and then use the lasso tool to make the edges rough but this looks quite simple so let's quickly go ahead and then start from here so i'm going to create a very rough edge around here so with the lasso tool i'm not sure i'm going to get exactly what i have on the thumbnail but I hope you get the concept so something like that when you get to this point we just get back to where we started and then it creates a selection for us now what we're going to do is going to right click go to fill and we're going to fill with the black or the background color so the background color here is white if you want to save yourself trouble you just pick the color and then you can choose the color that you want click ok and then you can click ok from here so we just create this sort of rough edge for you so once we're done with that we can just push it down a little bit you can just use the scroll buttons to adjust it if you want it up or down you just use the scroll button to adjust it and once we're done with that we can go ahead and select all of these and then group it and we can call it the background now the next thing that we're going to add will be the main ingredient so in this case i got the tamarind in a jar and i got one in glass so if you are using the pineapple also i have the pineapple and then the pineapple in glass and then the splash pineapple and i've got some gingers over here so it depends on the one that you'll be using that it gets the resources for that so we're going to use the tamarind in the jar so i got this picture from pinterest i'm going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop over here and i'm going to open it up a bit like that okay let's close it up because we need some test at the top here you press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered and you can bring it over here now the next thing that we're going to add will be the mint i think this is a mint leaf well so i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop and i'm going to close it up a little bit like that or transform it i'll bring it over here so it's a mixture of tamarind and then mint so we can select the two here so i'll hold ctrl and select the two press ctrl t and i can slightly transform it over here like that and i can push it to the very top now what i want to do is underneath of the jar i want to create a new layer and i'm going to add some shadows to it so let me zoom in slightly so that you can see exactly what i'm doing so i'm going to pick my brush tool and i'm going to make sure that my hardness is zero percent and i'm going to brush over here so i'm just creating some sort of shadow over here so that it doesn't really look like it is hanging in thin air so i'll do the same thing for the main very slight one and once you feel like it's okay you can even reduce the opacity a little bit so that the shadows can look very good and now i'm going to group all of these one the three here and i'm going to call it the main 
now the next thing that i want to add will be the test so at the test i have the heading here i have a couple of nutritional fats and some ingredients that will be on the left side and then the information that will be an, at the bottom so i'm going to categorize that into three sections all right so let's start with the heading the heading is basically going to be the name of your company and then pretty much the heading for the design so this is going to be turning natural and then tamarind juice so i've got all my tests over here to save some time so the first font that we're going to use i'll just go for my font and the first font that we're going to use is called sweet sensation i'll leave links in the description if you want to download any of these fonts it's for free and then i'm going to copy that and paste it over here so turn in natural now i'll press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and then i'll press ctrl t and try to transform it because it is the name of the company it has to be very bold so i'll make it all white like that just bring it down a little bit let me zoom in so this is exactly what we have now i'll right click on this one go to the blending options and i'm going to set up a stroke so a very nice stroke and for the stroke i'm going to go for something from here so something that is quite similar to this color so something like that and i'm going to increase the size a little bit to about five or let's try four and from there i'll just go ahead and click ok now the next thing that we want to do is when you go to the test here we have the title of or the type of the juice this can be made for several juices so it could be pineapple juice tamarind juice ginger juice and apple juice or any other thing so you just have to specify so i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then i'll drag it to the very bottom over here now the second font that i'm going to use for this one is called the heart of everything I'll leave links in the description so i'll go inside of the test that i've just written and i'm going to copy that so the tamarind juice and i'm going to paste it over here now we don't need the stroke around it so we're going to right click and go to clear layer style you press ctrl t and then you can transform it very nicely you make sure that there are spaces between it to make it look nice now i'm going to select all the tests here and i'm going to pick a color from this same design so i pick a color a very bright one so something around this area quite going to the white section here but that also is similar to the color that we are using so i'm just going ahead to click ok once i'm done all right so we are still in the test so i can group these two and then i can call it the heading so this is going to be the heading all right so the next one that we're going to do is for the active ingredient so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to pick up my rounded rectangle over here you make sure that you set the radius to the size that you want and then you can create a rounded rectangle over here so something very small all right so the radius is too much for me let me set this to around 20 or let's go for 30 and hit ok now i'm going to create a nice very simple rounded rectangle like that and i'm going to maintain the black color i want to make sure that it is very close to the edge that we set because we want to keep it aligned so i can press ctrl t to transform it it doesn't really have to be that very big so i just make sure that it is aligned to the very guideline that we set and i'm going to set the opacity to 30 percent okay so the next thing that we want to add will be the test so for the test i'm going to select and copy my active ingredient over here the font that i'm going to use is called poppins my favorite so i'm going to choose popping over here or poppins over here and i'm going to use the medium one so i'm going to paste it right over here select it all and i'm going to select my color overlay or my color palette and i'm going to choose a color from here so i'm going i'll go for yellow from here so that it will stand out i'll press ctrl t and make sure that this is closed up and it fits right in here now i'm going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate drag it to the very bottom and i'll go to my test i have the actual ingredients over here so i'll copy that and i'm going to paste it right over here so i'm going to select all of that make sure that it is aligned to the left side i press ctrl t and i can transform it a little bit select it all and go to the toggle character let's try to open this one up 
a little bit so that there will be space so let me just go for five i think five would do and then i'm going to change the color to white now what i do is i'm going to drag it to the very left side so that it aligns with the active ingredients so we can now go ahead and group all of this one press ctrl g and we can call this one the ingredients all right the next set of things that we want to do is the nutritional facts but before we go on to that if you are gaining value from this video why don't you hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification as it goes a long way to help the channel also if you share that would be very much appreciated so we want to create that for the nutritional facts or the nutritional value so the first thing that i want to do is i want to pick my test tool and create a very simple test here go for my nutritional facts i'll copy that and i'm going to paste it right over here i press ctrl t to transform it it all has to be at the very back of the line or the guideline that we brought in so i'll bring it over here something very simple like that and then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and i'm going to create a rectangle over here i'll double click on this one and i'm going to choose white over here so that is going to be the nutritional fact so i'm going to make a duplicate of the rectangle i'll press ctrl j to make the duplicate and i'm going to drag it over here so right from there i'll press ctrl t to transform it i'll double click on the layer thumbnail of this rectangle layer and i'm going to change the color to black I'm going to set the opacity to 40% so you can drag this to 40% right click on it and go to the blending options now I'm going to add a very slight stroke to it and I'm going to set the color to white I'm going to change the value here to 2% or probably 1 let's go for 1 and I'm going to click OK so this is what we're going to input in the nutritional fact but instead of just copying the test and then pasting it over here you have to use the test box so that the test will be in a very nice way and for that font i'm going to use the normal times new roman so i'll go for my test tool over here the font is times new roman so i'll go ahead and make a test box so you left click you don't leave the test and you can open it up so i make a test box pretty much similar to the box that we have for the rectangle so something like that and i'm going to my test over here i'm going to select all of these ones here copy that and i'm going to paste it right in here so since they are very small over here i can select all of them and i can make or increase the size for these ones a little bit and i'm going to open the toggle character and i'm going to open the leading here as well so let me open this to about three uh 2.5 let's see okay three is good or 3.2 perfect so once you have this you can just drag it to the rectangle press ctrl t and then you can close it up so that it fits right into the rectangle that you created so it becomes quite simple so once we have that we can select from that particular place to the nutrition fact and then we can press on ctrl g and we call that the nutrition fact all right so at this point i think the last things that we're going to add will be the information at the very bottom so we go back to poppins so we go back to poppins and the color i'm going to use here is going to be red indicating that the points that we're going to make here is quite very important so i'll go into my test and what do we have we have shake well i'll make a duplicate and drag it to the very up just press ctrl a to center it something like that and i'm going to change the color to green so i'll pick the green from the mint very dark green so something like that and i'm going to select my test from here i'll make another duplicate drag it to the extreme right side and when we go into the test we have produced by so this is an actual design for turning natural one of my sisters online so she lives in the united states if you want to hit her up for any of these natural drinks you are free to contact her so i'm going to copy that i think that is also a caution why don't we just change that to red and bring it to the very bottom and since we are also mean using all caps at the very bottom why don't we go to the toggle character and set this one here all caps and then we're going to bring it to the very bottom 
something quite simple like that so after that i'm going to select all of this one and i'm going to call that the information and if i press ctrl h to turn off the guidelines this is exactly what we have so yeah like i said using the same strategy you can just basically go back to the background if you are having something like ginger you can go to the gradient over here and pick out something that corresponds to ginger so i can go for something like this one and then i'll bring my ginger in provided you have all your fruit or whatever that you want to use so if you look at the samples that i created from here so this is going to be for ginger and so if you have your pineapple you bring in your pineapple if you have your banana you bring in your banana if you have any other thing you just bring it in and then you can use the same strategy to come out with something very very interesting and that'll be pretty much it for this video i hope you gained value if you did why don't you go ahead and smash on the subscribe button and don't forget to check out the description for all the resources download them try out your creativity you can go out of the box and then you send me your final designs to my instagram account i'll be very glad to connect with you thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video it's innocent here and bye